Hey everybody and welcome back to 3COG. Today I want to talk about a piece of training gear that I consider to be just indispensable. You, you, need to, you need to pick one up if you're serious about training. And that is a shot timer. This is my Pocket Pro. Um, there are different brands, different models. Uh, this is what I use, this is what I recommend. And there is a link in the description for picking one of these up off of Amazon. Uh, I am an Amazon affiliate so if you pick one up using that link I do make a couple bucks off of it, just as a heads up on that. Uh, second little shout out thing real quick is this shirt. So this shirt's made by a buddy of mine. You can see it's got the Tree of Liberty on the back of it. I think it's a really, really cool shirt design and there'll be a link to my buddy's uh, company in that, uh, in the description as well. So shot timer, for those of you who don't know, shot timer is really simple. Um, it picks up the sound of gunshots. So I push a button, I get a beep that tells me to start and then it picks up gunshots so every time every time you shoot it records that you also have the ability to set a second beep or a par time so if your limit for a drill is 2.5 seconds then you can punch in 2.5 seconds <clears throat> and give yourself that long to complete the drill it is also a fantastic tool for dry fire training so dry fire training you need to incorporate that into your training regimen. If you're not dry firing, you're only doing half the work. Uh, I will do another video in the future on dry fire drills that I do and that I recommend. So, basics of it, runs off of a nine volt battery. They run between 100 and 150 dollars depending on where you get them from. Uh, so controls on the side here, you've got the button, that's your start button, and then there's this little switch. Uh, it can be set for instant or random start time. So if you put it on random and push the button, it gives you just a different uh, amount of time. So that helps when you're doing it by yourself and you just have it clipped on your belt, you push the button, you wait for the drill to start, and then you get into it. Um, so that's your start, that's your random. You have a power button and it's only power on. It's got an auto off feature, which I think after nine minutes of not picking up gunshots, it turns off. You have your second beep button. So that's how you set your par time or any adjustment. And then you have your review, number, and split. So that is after you've shot 10 rounds and you wanna know your split times or how long in between shots, you can go through, review every shot, and you can see your split times, how fast, uh, how long it took you to make your draw, all of that can be reviewed uh, right from that. Now I know that there are apps that can be used uh, that you can download for free on your phone to do this, but they do not work nearly as well as an actual dedicated shot timer. <clears throat> so you really, really need to get a shot timer. You're selling yourself short. Like I said, for dry fire, live fire, it's just a, it's a great training tool. One of the things that I talk about a lot is people's self-impression of where they are at or they believe that they are just the fastest best shooter in the world and then when you go to a match or uh, you shoot against people it's a very humbling experience well shot timers don't lie shot timers tell you where you actually are at so you can believe that you can rip the gun out of your holster and get about a one second shot and then if you do it on a shot timer and you realize you're actually at like 1.9 there's a significant difference there between one second and 1.9 seconds so shot timers don't lie, they give you a true benchmark of where you're actually at. If you're like me and you watch a lot of YouTube gun content and there's other people who use shot timers and they say, oh, this, you know, I did that drill in 6.5 seconds, then you can repeat that drill and see where you measure up against. You might be faster, you might be slower, whatever, but you know, as opposed to saying, oh yeah, I'm, I'm in the same neighborhood, because generally speaking, we're not. So it's, uh, it, as far as measuring your performance and truly letting you know where you're at, absolutely great tool um, that's really it just uh, absolutely recommend get a shot timer for dry fire it's fantastic for live fire it's fantastic the only negative that I will punch out right away is it doesn't work on indoor ranges when you have other people shooting around you because it picks up all the other gunshots but even if I did all my shooting at an indoor range with other shooters I would still use it for dry fire practice because being able to set that par time and say, okay, how fast can I clear a malfunction? How fast can I transition from rifle to pistol? You can do all that in the comfort of your own home. Like I said, I'll make another video about dry fire drills. But uh, 
you can set yourself that timer and then you're not guesstimating or you're not trying to count in your head. You really know where you're at as far as the speed goes. So, like I said, there'll be a link in the comments for Shot Timer. There'll be a link to my buddy's company. I really like his company, and I really like this t-shirt, Tree of Liberty. It's an awesome shirt. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time on 3COG.